he said to me, I'm really getting tired. Mm -hmm. I'm, he was getting despondent. He was getting depressed. And at that point, we felt he needs to have some kind of alternative to get him out of the dire straits uh, of a dialysis procedures that weren't uh, working well. I have to ask, what was his reaction when you mentioned this procedure, this experimental procedure that's never been done? He asked me, do you think it's going to hurt me? Do you think it's going to work? You know, do you have confidence in uh, Dr. Riella and the team that's bringing this to, to the clinics? Um, if you say that I have a good chance of thriving after, after this, uh, this transplant and getting off dialysis, I want to give it a try. It was a four-hour procedure to transplant the genetically modified pig's kidney into the patient. It was a special moment to, to see and, uh, you know, and also that the quality of a kidney of a healthy young pig is incredible. So we have to deal with challenges in transplantation where unfortunately with the deceased donors, many of them have other comorbidities. They have high blood pressure, diabetes, and they're 55, 60, sometimes 70 years old. And so the kidneys are not pristine when they come. Would you say that having this organ from a pig is better than a living donor? Well, I would say initially when all the, the circulation was uh, connected, the kidney immediately pinked up uh, and showed excellent, uh, superb perfusion. And uh, the lead surgeon, Dr. Kawai, said, this is the most beautiful kidney I've seen uh, <laughs> after uh, you know, implantation and, and reperfusion. Yeah, well, we know now that surgery was successful and 